Coach, welcome to the table. And I know that your squad has been busy throughout the fall and winter attending most every, actually every home game and even a good number of away games. Was that your plan for your squad heading into this season when you started to get them at more events and make a presence for Central Methodist? Oh, most definitely. When um, I was hired last April and shortly after my hire, um, Ken Oliver came on. And um, over the summer, that was one of the big things that he and I discussed in great detail was obviously um, the girls were going to be present at all home games, but um, getting them to travel um, was huge. It was huge for me. It was huge for him. And um, I hope and I think that it will continue on to next season and even more so than than what we've been able to do this year so it's very exciting to have the support from him and the athletic department to to do that do you think that they've enjoyed being able to cheer at more events and to have more of a presence at central methodist events um yes uh i i absolutely think so um right now we are doing all home football, all women's volleyball, which was new this year, and um, all women and men's basketball. And um, Ken and I are speaking currently about um, traveling for this semester's basketball games, kind of talking about what we can do with that. So um, I am excited about it. The girls are really excited about it. That's what we're here to do. Um, our number one priority, not our own competitions, is to be the cheerleaders for CMU Athletics. So the more that we can be present and on the sidelines at everything we can be, um, that's huge for us and for the university, I think. Also in the plans are to have the Spirit Squad and the entire band at the spring game for football, which was not done last year and hasn't been done in recent memory. What kind of an extra atmosphere do you hope to present at that, at that game as Central Methodist hopes to make that an annual event that is attended in large numbers. Yeah, I mean, um, any athletic event where you can have a full spirit squad, a full pet band, that only intensifies the atmosphere for the crowd, for the athlete, athletes, and um, I'm really excited about it. I think it'll be a great tradition that CNU will be starting, and um, I think that it'll be great for my new incoming girls as well as returning girls to um, do that first game. That'll be a good kind of practice round for football season for us and it'll just be a fun event that CMU is starting. The Spirit Squad will compete in the HAC Championships upcoming on February 2nd at Missouri Valley. What types of activities has your team done in practice in order to hopefully bring home a conference championship? Well, I've just about nearly killed my girls. Um, we've been having some crazy, long, intense practices. It's good for them. Um, our routines are ready. Our dancers will compete in one routine, and our cheerleaders will compete in one routine. Um, actually, starting tomorrow, um, the entire spirit squad is back working out with our strength and conditioning coaches, which is huge because these routines are intense. They are two and a half minutes of craziness. We need the um, strength and endurance to actually make it through them. But um, the routines are done. Now it's just drilling them. And, um, you know, unfortunately, cheer and dance is very different than any other sport because you have one shot, period. That's it. So um, perfection is, is where we need to be. And I think we'll be there. And I'm really looking forward to it. Our routines are, are um, solid this year. They're different. They're unique. And... Um, we will actually be performing them um, January 24th at the Evangel game at the half times of the men and women's game. So hopefully that will naturally be a big game. We'll have a big crowd and it will be a good dress rehearsal for the girls. For anyone that hasn't seen your team yet perform, that will be traveling to Marshall, Missouri on February 2nd to watch your teams compete. What will those routines look like? What can fans expect to see from your squad? Well, our six dancers will be competing in um, a jazz routine. Um, they're performing to all that jazz. It's a very stylized routine, a lot of technique. Um, we're using chairs as props this year, so there's lots of visual cool things going on. And um, our cheerleaders, I don't want to give too much away, but um, our cheerleaders routine is um, a country mix this year, fun country. 
Um, so it's very different. Just music alone is is going to be one of those. Um, hopefully, teams will stop and be like, "Oh, we haven't heard that before," which was the goal. That is the intent behind it. Um, it's a fun routine. It's crazy fast. Um, there's crazy stunts going up in the air. There's people flipping. There's people flying everywhere. Um, so if we nail it, we're going to be we're going to be sitting real good, I think. And only your first season as the head coach in Fayette, what would it mean to bring home the hack championships to Central Methodist? Well, I'm not going to lie. Um, I like to win. Who doesn't? So <laughs> that is, uh, that's the goal going in. Going in is bringing home that banner. And um, the girls are more than capable, more than ready, and um, very confident that we're going to go and, and do it, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs>